Ayman Diwali is back at the mosque where events one year ago changed his life forever. When Sunday evening prayers were interrupted by gunfire, Ayman deliberately attracted the attacker's attention, giving others time to escape. He was shot multiple times. First bullet that I received was in my leg. The second one in my chin. I received one in my chin. And two bullets in my abdomen here. So I fell down. That moment I fell down and I lost conscious. The brothers told me that he, he came a little bit closer and he fired uh, on me uh, three times, I think, to be sure that I'm, I will be dead. He was lucky to survive. When he woke from a coma two months later, he was paralyzed from the waist down and has lived in a rehabilitation center ever since. Six people were killed that day in a shooting that shocked the world and sparked a debate about Islamophobia in Canada. The memories of last year's attack are still very raw in this community. And the people we've spoken to here say there is also a fear that something just as horrific could happen again. On the anniversary of the shooting, the mosque has hired security guards to calm nervous worshippers. But the mosque president says the congregation is learning to live with the legacy of the attack. Pain uh, still, but uh, with, uh, with the hope, with a good hope that uh, our uh, citizen, Canadian citizen and Quebec citizen uh, are here to help us, to sympathize with us. Ayman says thousands of messages of support from around the world have helped him in his recovery. But he says authorities must do more to tackle an emboldened far-right movement in Canada. The extreme right wing of the ultra-nationalists, they, they don't have fear now to, to express uh, their, their hate, you know, especially on social media. They, they use their real name. Ayman hopes he will soon be well enough to live at home with his wife and three children. For now, he returns each Friday to the place he almost died. Prayers help him cope with the pain as he attempts to rebuild his life. Harry Horton, TRT World, Quebec.